Welcome to Caribbean Flavor Magazine. Today we will be doing jerk chicken on our menu also with steamed fish. On the side of the jerk chicken I will be serving boiled corns as well as um, grilled or let's say baked potatoes and mashed potatoes. Wait, how could I forget? Um, I'll also be doing a salad which I call the ripe plantain salad where I'll be um, grilling the plantain and in the middle I'll be adding some vegetables. Don't forget to like, share, comment and subscribe and also hit that notification bell. Thank you. Let's get into it. As you can see I had already um, pre-seasoned my chicken with some blended vegetables. I had left the information in the caption and I got my grill started. So pop these babies right on. In the meantime I'm gonna chop these corns in half and have them boil so I can serve it on the side. My bananas I'll be boiling too and now I am chopping these to go on the grill. So as soon as the chicken is finished, those are on the grill. Add some moisture to your chicken so the broth from which your chicken was seasoned. Add that. Also chop in some potatoes. This will be going into my fish, my steam fish. So all this is being done while the chicken is on the grill. And I'm gonna get my okras ready now. This is for my steam fish as well. You know we Jamaicans love to have a lot of different vegetables and spices in our steam fish in anything we're doing. Island spice, right? You're also welcome to use more or less of these ingredients depending on your liking or your taste. I don't cook much with the recipe per se or I go with the basics and then add my little flavor to it. That's cooking, right? Alright, enjoy! One thing about living overseas is that we don't usually get to enjoy the things we love and that we grew up on, right? So whenever you get a chance to whip up quick meals like this in the kitchen, do it. Just do it. You know, hop onto a YouTube channel if you don't know what to do, if you're just learning or you need new recipes and just get cooking. Trust me, you love it. Your family, your friends or whoever you're catering to will love you for it. You may not be able to always get your hands on all the ingredients, but don't be afraid to just substitute something and make a great meal. Now here's the secret ingredient, even though it's no big secret, you know, get those chicken wild and crazy, nice and tasty. Wow, look at that chicken. Mm. While those corns are boiling, I'm going to get my pot ready for my steam fish. I'm going to add my coconut milk. I prefer to basically blend or grate the coconuts, but I'm using what I have at hand now. So I'm adding my vegetables, my corn, my pumpkin, my carrots, my Irish potatoes, everything that I need to give it that rich flavor. Yes. I also added thyme to this. It's not in the video. And some blended seasoning as well. Now I'm adding my powdered seasoning. You don't want to add too much because you don't want it to be too salt or anything. And you know fish doesn't really take a lot of seasoning. I'm now adding my fish. I'm using part fish because that's a personal favorite. But you can use whatever fish you like. Um, just do it. Now you want to set these babies in nice and comfortable. Ensure that they're submerged under the water or most of it. So we can get that flavor soaking through the fish. Adding my vegetables now. To the top they're gonna just marinate on the top and give it that nice flavor that we're looking for just let this simmer down for a few minutes and allow the fish to cook mm, look at that beautiful chicken awesome uh, mouth watering my fish is ready so I'm just gonna serve this up and enjoy mm, look at that wouldn't you love some of that right now you can just go ahead hit up my channel Look at the recipe, subscribe, like, share, comment, and give it a try. Thank you for watching and enjoy. Also guys, I see the love that I've been receiving and I appreciate it. Thank you. Keep those comments coming. I enjoy them and they keep me motivated.